Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. I've got this beautiful vision of you for this week which is dancing in the rain quite literally but it's kind of like you're Mary Poppins dancing in the rain <laughs> so you're kind of twirling around it's like one of those like an old-fashioned movie like Mary Poppins the original and it's like you've got this umbrella and it's raining but you're kind of swirling around and happy and joyful so yeah, singing in the rain, dancing in the rain, it's a sense of not going to let this kind of energy, not going to let it rain on my parade kind of energy. But there's this joy in just being really present with something and, yeah, the, the sense of, yeah, beautiful energy to come through. We've got the magician, willpower and creation, and the queen of crystals, comfort and prosperity. And this does remind me a lot of Mary Poppins, actually, because it's like there's a little bit of magic around. There's a little bit of sense of creativity, feeling a little bit freer, perhaps letting your imagination go wild, perhaps, you know, connecting to some kind of creative art like dancing or art or anything like that. It feels very creative. You're kind of getting a little bit out of if you you if you are a creative person, this is where you could be feeling really creative. And if you're not a creative person, you might be doing something something that has this act of creation within it. It just has this kind of, uh, it's opening you up to kind of a bit more of a fun, whimsical kind of energy, which is nice. But at the end of the day, this character of Mary Poppins, which I, I don't know why she's coming in, but it just is, it's like, she's this magical, it's a magical energy, but it's an energy that you do want to take comfort in. It's an energy that at the end of the day there's a home or a place to come back to that is really comfortable and is bringing in this sense of prosperity as well. So I do think that even though it feels like you're doing a bit of a rain dance at this moment in time, what it's doing is um, through this sheer like pleasurable and enjoyable activity that you're doing, it's creating this sense of uh, firstly you're getting more comfortable with the idea of it or more comfortable with the action of it. But secondly, like I feel like you're strangely enough, like without even really feeling actively involved with it, you're, you're planting seeds for prosperity. So I know it doesn't seem like it, you know, you're twirling around in the rain, but just there's magic that's been created. And this magic is something that could bring something really lovely in. And especially the queen of crystals is like the queen of pentacles. So it's a very earthy, grounded energy uh, that that's lovely that's coming through here. So I feel like you kind of got this whimsical vision of what it is that you want, but it's quite a unique way of the way that you're manifesting this in your life at this moment in time. So it's actually really lovely. And look at this, Cup 10 Pluto Pisces, the card of happiness. So, I mean, this is such a beautiful energy to come in and the Pluto energy you know, it does want to transform. It wants to transform something uh, and it, it is transformative, but I kind of just get let go. This is not a heavy energy. This is not connected to any responsibilities or burdens. This is just a happy energy of just enjoying yourself. And through that process, you're in the right energy frequency for bringing in something that is... Um, yeah, potentially kind of manifesting there up in the high uh, spiritual realm. So there's a lot of lovely, again, the Pisces energy is very creative. The Cup 10 is the card of happiness. So you've got happiness, comfort, prosperity, creation, <laughs> willpower. I do think that, uh, yeah, it's interesting. We've got the Two of Pentacles. So this is where... You kind of, you know, things potentially may have been a little bit out of balance or you're weighing some things up at this moment in time. It can be juggling money, can be feeling a bit ambivalent about something in your world. Let's see what else is coming in around that, Virgo. Just got to get the right vibration and frequency into the cards. And I think for you, it is a lot to do with that. I know I don't normally shuffle for this long, but it is about just being in the right frequency at this moment in time, at this this week. The Queen of Cups. Okay, beautiful. This is the sense of nurturing and loving yourself and looking after yourself. It can be love around the home. The Three of Pentacles. So there's there's something out of balance potentially around the home space or around the way you're looking after yourself or where you're feeling really comfortable, but you're working on it. And it's a group effort. <laughs> like is, there's a sense of... Uh, 
yeah, really valuing yourself here, actually, really valuing some people around you that are helping you and really valuing yourself. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so, yeah, interesting because you there's a big um, closing of a chapter. There's a big no coming in here with the Ten of Swords. You are working on something here and that's kind of where I feel like you. it's almost in the back of your mind. Let's see the last card, the King of, I mean, sorry, the Knight of Swords and at the base of the Page of Wands, there's something new developing, but it's developing, you know, in the back of your mind here. We can see that the story is in the back of this Queen of Cups mind. She's mulling something over like da 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 and she's kind of in the back of her head, you know, she's doing something that's enjoyable, that's nurturing, that's nice for her. So it's kind of like do something nice for yourself, do something fun, enjoyable, pleasurable, which is why we were getting that dancing in the rain. You might, it doesn't have to necessarily, <laughs> it's going to be something unique to you. Some of you might hate dancing, some of you might hate rain, but it's more just the, the symbol of it. But it's kind of like, do something really nice for yourself and then while you're kind of absent-mindedly doing this, while you're doing this absent-mindedly, your mind is kind of working things over, thinking things through and then it's got this sense of what is it that I want to create? What is it that I'm good at? What is it that I want to be building in my life? They're cre These are the master creators here in the Three of Pentacles. They're building something of great beauty. They're building a cathedral. It's like something of great beautiful beauty but it takes a lot of skill and um, intricate details but it's more than one person that is required for this. This is not just uh, a one-person job. So so it's kind of interesting and also the other things in the back of your mind is this, the Ten of Swords, where it's like uh, this is potentially where you're kind of thinking about where something ended in your life. It was just like a, a the close of a chapter, the end of a chapter. Could have happened quite quickly with that Knight of Swords. You know, something just ended or you got a no unexpectedly or it came in super, super fast. Um, or this is where you feel like you need to be saying this. It's determined to let go of some kind of old belief system, some sort of um, to determine to close and shut a chapter. So you're working things through. That's the thing. that This is in the element of air. There's a lot of things going in the side of your mind, in the back of your head about determined uh, to end something or to release an energy that has been taking up some negativity inside your mind and stepping into this new energy, which is very productive. It's very collaborative energy. So again, it's it's that sense of creation. You know, you're creating a new reality here in some ways, but it's also a sense that you are, you know, you're looking at it and going, how can I actually make this work? And this is something that I ultimately the the aim of this is happiness. You're wanting to bring in something that brings happiness, health, comfort, and prosperity. So it's uh, a beautiful energy to come through for you, Virgo. I just feel like there's a lot of com deep contemplation. And yeah, the way to do it is to just take off, take the weight off, take off some of the burdens and not think too much about it, even though it is there. It's just whirring around. Let your brain and your subconscious do the work in the background. It will kind of work out all the things and it maybe there's something new that you're wanting to bring in and as a result you have to say no to something to bring this in. The Three of Pentacles can be you're thinking of studying or you're thinking of it does feel like you're starting something new that you're wanting some really, really positive results here. So it feels really nice, but it does feel ambivalence as well. Like you've gone from the two of pentacles, you're seeing that somewhere, something somewhere, you know, in your life isn't this two of pentacles where it needs to kind of um, be moved to the next level, to the next step. It's kind of, you don't want it to be in this sense of limbo at this moment for too long. So you're really wanting it to progress so it's early days. It's at the twos and the threes. It's not right at the very beginning, but there's definitely for it to progress, something has to end. Okay. The bear. Oh, okay. I love this. This is actually the element of earth. And this is, uh, yeah, this is big. This is something big that potentially you're kind of working on or manifesting in your life here. Look how the interesting thing about this is that the bear was really comfortable in its cave. It was hibernating, it was winter, it was all comfortable and in this space, but it's spring now. There's new growth, there's new light, there's new things happening. The bear must come out of its cave, its place of comfort, and find 
Step into the new, the new possibilities, the new dawn, the new things that are on offer here. And there's a sense of wonder, you know, it's an energy of spring, but there, it's seeing the world through these new lenses and seeing opportunities where once you didn't see them before. And so you, th this could be something big that you're kind of manifesting and working on, but it's the bear finding a new place of comfort, quite literally. So getting out of a comfort zone to step into a new comfort zone, but I feel like it's it brings happiness with it. So the Page of Wands, this is messages around creativity or around your career that could be coming in. Uh, this is looking at something. Maybe there's been, you know, we can see the new growth coming in, the new buds of spring that are coming through here and seeing some positive results that are, or maybe this is something that you're looking for and you're hoping for, but it's getting a little bit excited. It's getting that spark, getting um, inspired, maybe setting some new goals, but just connecting to the passion, something you're feeling really passionate about, which is really beautiful. So I feel like ultimately, yeah, just enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, but it is time to come out of the cave and start dancing around and seeing what's out there in the world and enjoying yourself a little bit. And then these ideas and these things will come to you. <laughs> so, uh, and it feels like it's something quite productive. So it's it's a nice energy to come through. And ultimately, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty happy energy. So the bear is going to be happy to come out of its cave. <laughs> uh, no more hibernation for something in your life. You're kind of saying no to it and determined to bring in this new growth, which is lovely. So that's it, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. And yeah, take care.